Hi students, today we are going to study about brownout protection circuit. So what is meant by brownout? Brownout is a condition when the voltage falls below a particular level that is called a brownout. So if the voltage falls below a particular level, uh, we cannot predict how the microprocessor or the microcontroller will work what happens to the data okay that we cannot predict it so in order to avoid that situation we have to use a circuit called a brownout protection circuit so what does this uh, brownout protection circuit do okay so it prevents the processor or the controller from unexpected program execution behavior if the supply voltage to the processor falls below a specific voltage level so we will fix a particular threshold voltage level so if the voltage is falling below that particular level then the brownout protection circuit has to act so in order to protect the circuit so what happens if the voltage is low okay sometimes uh, the data contained in the register may get corrupted okay the data in the memory may get corrupted okay so sometimes the data may get erased okay so all these things will happen if this brownout happens okay so the processor behavior we cannot predict if it is not given sufficient supply voltage or VCC okay so all these processors will have a, a voltage range okay a minimum voltage and a maximum voltage in which it can work okay so if the voltage is not in that particular range it it will cause what data corruption okay so in order to avoid that data corruption we have to use this brownout protection circuit okay so actually what this brownout protection circuit do okay so this brownout protection circuit will hold the processor or controller in reset state so what is reset state all the registers all the flags everything will become zero the value of all the registers and all the flags will become zero okay so if the voltage is reducing below a particular range this brownout protection circuit will act and it will hold the registers and the memory everything in reset state okay when it is given sufficient power okay then it will again come to the normal state okay so so it can protect from software corruption and hardware damage okay so normally how we are supplying the voltage we will directly connect to the vcc pin okay and we will check the brownout circuit will check compare the voltage between this vcc pin and the threshold voltage okay the voltage range okay so if the voltage range is not within that particular range then this brownout protection circuit will act okay so normally it will check whether the voltage is falling beyond that particular range or not okay so when the voltage is increasing okay so it will go for the normal operation of the processor or controller okay so this is the functioning of a brownout protection circuit brownout means voltage is falling below a particular level that is what is called a brownout okay and the action that is happening in that case we cannot predict 
okay so here is the circuit of a brownout protection circuit okay so if you look into this figure figure a we can see what is a brownout situation okay here we are providing the voltage and in here the voltage is reducing right in this point the voltage is reducing maybe due to the change in the supply voltage or due to any other reason change in the load okay so if you look here we can see a green line here okay so this green line is called trip level okay so if the voltage is going below this trip level what happens this memory clear signal will be initiated so what is this memory clear signal it is used to reset the registers and memory okay so this this is memory clear bar memory clear bar means it is a active low signal okay if a low signal is given then only the circuit will get activated and the memory will be set to zero okay so that is what happening here so this is called a brown out situation this region this point is called a brown out situation okay so whenever this brown out situation occurs this signal will be generated this memory clear bar signal that is an active low signal it will be generate and it will be given to the micro processor or micro controller in order to reset the memory okay so when it is normal when it is above the trip level when it is above the when the voltage is above the trip level what happens again uh, the processor or microcontroller will go for normal operation okay so that is also possible okay so what are the components of this uh, circuit okay so we have a power supply that is vdd so this power supply we are comparing okay next thing is a sner diode is there a sner diode is there and uh, a transistor is there then resistors are connected okay so this is the circuit diagram of a brown out protection circuit and uh, this m clear mclr signal is taken from this point okay this point we will connect this mclr signal to the micro processor okay so we have a sner diode and we have a transistor okay so always what we do is like this voltage we are having vdd okay so if we split the voltage it will be the sum of the voltage that is coming across this transistor and this diode okay so we will get an output here m c l r bar okay so this output is used to control the microprocessor or microcontroller okay so in most of the microcontroller or microprocessor will consist of a built in brown out protection circuit that means during the manufacturing itself we have a brown out protection circuit that is inbuilt inside the processor or the controller so this pro processor or controller inbuilt circuit will monitor it will monitor always monitor whether the supply voltage internally okay whether the supply voltage is in the sufficient level 
or beyond the trip level okay if it is beyond the trip level it will initiate what m clear memory clear bar signal okay sometimes in some type of processors or controllers there will not be any brownout protection circuit in built inside the processor or controller okay so we have to provide that type of circuit externally so we have to design a circuit based on the vdd value like this okay so we have to design the value of uh, these resistors uh, and we have to select suitable transistors and diode and we have to build a circuit externally and we have to connect it to the micro processor or microcontroller okay so uh, so we have to check the model and we have to check the data sheet whether a brownout protection circuit is present inside the microprocessor or not okay so if it is not present we have to provide it externally okay and we have to check all the parameters we have to design based on the vdd so so different microprocessor or different microcontrollers have a different supply voltage okay some may use 12 volt some processor may use 5 volt okay so it depends on the manufacturer okay so we have to consider the vdd when we are designing this brownout circuit so the type of circuit that we are using is mainly based on passive components okay so external passive circuits we will develop okay sometimes we can develop using some ICs also okay supervisor ICs okay so we can program the IC and this IC will monitor that particular voltage and if it is falling below that particular voltage it will uh, generate a signal okay so that thing is also possible okay so it can be designed using a passive circuit or it can be a control ic a programmed supervisor ic can also be used so the heart of this circuit are the center diode and the transistor as i shown in the diagram so this center diode and this transistor are the heart of this circuit okay so the transistor always contact when the supply voltage vcc is greater than the sum of vbe and vz so what is vbe vb is the base emitter voltage okay across the transistor and vz is the voltage across the diode okay so if the sum of these two the sum of the voltage across the transistor and the diode is compared with the voltage vcc if the vcc is greater than this sum then only the transistor will contact okay so the transistor will stop contacting when the supply voltage falls below what the sum vbe plus vc so that time we can detect what brownout is happening or not okay so how we will select the uh, resistors the resistors will be selected based on the electrical characteristics okay so here we are doing a comparison to check whether brownout is happening or not okay so when the vcc is falling below the sum of vbe and vz voltage across the transistor and diode the sum of the voltage across the transistor and diode we are calculating and we are checking okay we are comparing with the vcc okay so this is how a brownout protection circuit operates
so thank you for listening to this lecture if you have any doubts you can contact